Hey everyone, it's Courageous and I am back with another video. I'm here with the first cash stuffing of the first paycheck of 2022. Thank you everyone who wished me a swift recovery. I am getting my voice back, so I decided to go ahead and film this cash stuffing. Um, and yeah, let's just get into it. So, we are in January. January. I cannot believe it. So, as I said in my last cash stuffing video, I did get a raise. Um, the standard, like the 2.5 wage increase. And I saw in someone's video that she only budgets, she only budgets her previous wage. Uh, she does she got a raise and to prevent lifestyle creep she only budgets what she used to get paid and then the remainder she auto saves it and I thought that was an excellent idea so I decided to do that um, so my raise only comes out to an extra $38.78 after taxes but I will take it and so that $38.78, I put it automatically into my savings account. So we are working with the old amount, even though the new amount is uh, is this. So that old amount is what we're working with. So we are working with $1,748.69. And y'all, my daughter and I have started our individual therapies. Uh, and it's so great. So we are adding an expense but a very very well needed and uh, and non-negotiable expense it was hard enough to find uh, a therapist in these times and for me and for my daughter to find one hashtag blessed so that our copay is $15 a week so I'm budgeting um, so that works out to $30 a week for each of us so that ends up $60 for the bi-weekly pay period, my bank fee, Roblox, my phone bill, um, my son's PSN subscription, the gym, my book subscription. Um, this is, uh, I love script. It's the Netflix of books, y'all. Uh, life insurance. Um, I did, I was naughty in December and I did make some charges on a credit card that I paid off. So I um, am paying that off completely before the statement closes. And then this is the, monthly fee for that credit card. They do an annual fee and monthly installments. Um, but I'm not canceling that card because I need to have as much credit as is possible. All right, so that total is $1,225.32, leaving, leaving me with $523.47. So let's get to stuffing. Let me put my book over here. All right, so first, Let's unstuff. I do have money left. I did go back to my little wallet um, just because I was carrying a whole bunch of things and I was like, all right, huh, I, need to, I need to take it easy. And plus I've been sick. Um, so I do have one whole dollar left, y'all. Yes, I will take it. Um, let me just make sure there's nothing, any coins in here, no coins. Let's just take out these envelopes. I will be stuffing. All right. So we had our first snowstorm of the year and my first snowstorm in Rhode Island. Oh. So the bank was closed. <laughs> so I had to go to the ATM. Look at this raggedy guy. So instead of ones, I had to get, I had to get um, fives. And instead of tens, I also had to get fives. So we're gonna make it work. And instead of 464, I got 460. And I will just get five dollars from I'll get it from my dot envelope. Since one, two, three, four. So there we go. It's going back into hers anyway. All right. <clears throat> so let us count. We need 464. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80. So that is 380. So 
So, let us, I had some coins, I had some coins, let's check them with the jaw. So we are currently at 1065. Uh, I don't put the pennies in here because it sometimes counts the pennies as pennies and sometimes it counts it as three cents, so it throws it off. So we are at 1090. And I put the pennies in my mermaid fund. I got this from Dollar Tree, back when it was still Dollar Tree. All right, so let us get the envelopes that we will be stuffing. We will be stuffing. Pets. We will be stuffing gas, groceries. And courageous. Let's see. All right. So let's start with groceries. So groceries will be getting a hundred dollars. Oh. Let me put this in frame. Here we go. Here we go. So we'll get two fifties. So fifty one hundred in groceries. So we got like, it's like 46 inches of snow, but it's not that cold, so that's good. So that way, you know, it's not going to stick that long. For pets, we are doing 60. So that is a 50, and we'll do two five. So 50, 55, 60. And I don't know if you all saw the video, but I did my first giveaway because I got to 100 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And thank you to everyone who has already subscribed. Courageous, that's me, is getting 25. So we're going to do it all in five since I'm getting 10. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And gas is getting 100, which is 250. All right, so these go in my handy dandy wallet. <clears throat> I was so sick on New Year's Eve. Like, we went to the buffet, and at the buffet, which is like such a shame I just got like a really like low energy and I was like I, my head started hurting and then I just got super sick and I was I was down for the count for a few days so Santos is getting 25 which is a 20 and a 5 and actually I need to buy candles ASAP so I'm just gonna put this in the miscellaneous I'm all out of candles and stuff. I've been sick. My altar has not been lit for a couple of days, and it just makes me feel oh, less warm. So we'll put that there. All right. So next we have Scarlet. I didn't do the video of um, my December recap i just i i don't have the and i don't i didn't have the energy and i just needed to do my cash stuffing but i i do want to say that i did achieve actually i should you know what i am going to do the video but i'll just give you a spoiler i was able to pay off the personal debt which was on um on my goals list so i paid off twenty five hundred dollars and that is one less person in my family i owe money to <laughs> Uh, if you're new here, I moved to Rhode Island. I from New Jersey. I got I got my dream job, but I also needed to, you know, put 
first month, last month, <laughs> and, se and secured the deposit at, at my new place, which is $2,000, and then also moving and everything. So I had to borrow for some, from some loved ones, um, my mama, another family member, and my daddy. And I paid off my mama, I paid off my other family member, shout out to them. Um, and now I just got my daddy. My daddy said, no rush, your house is more important. I love my family, hashtag blessed again. All right, Scarlett is getting 15. And what I'm going to do is, let me just see. All right, so she's gonna get it in five. Scarlett was in New Jersey with my family for a few days, um, but she is back now. She hasn't been getting her allowance though, but it's because I've been sick. She hasn't been on top of it either, but her room has been clean. So I'm probably just gonna give her just this in a lump sum because she's been doing a really good job. Um, or I'll give her some and then I'll, I'll keep teasing her with it so that she can keep her room clean. And then we are done in here in the short term binder now <clears throat> this binder the long term binder goes in conjunction with this binder which is my savings challenge binder so i'm doing a lot of savings challenges this is the year of the save i'm doing this scratch off savings challenge by pink pink x budget which i love i already scratched off for the month because i just couldn't resist them because i need to budget my whole month ahead of time you know but um the first two that i scratched off was the 40 and the 30 so i am stuffing 70 dollars and i don't where's this even going hold on i have to this is hold on this is going I think it's going in here. I think I put them all in order of how I was supposed to put them. Yes, so it is going in for home. So at the end of this, I'm doing the gold challenge. And at the end of this, I should have $2,000. And I'm going to put that in for home because, of course, the primary main focus of this year is my home, buying my first home. So I will put all of that, all of this, of course, towards everything that requires for my new home. So we are doing $70, which is a 20 and a 50. So that is, and the way it works is that you scratch off a diamond for each pay period, or of course, however you're going, however you wanna do it, but I'm doing a diamond per pay period. And since I get paid bi-weekly, I will be doing two diamonds every pay period next is the 26 week challenge so i i really should just take these out of here that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take it out of my binder because it's very obtrusive all right so All right, so we have done these two. These are stuffed, so let me just, I just wanna like, I know I stuffed them. All right, so then I'm doing also this 26 payday savings tracker uh, by D versus Debt. So this is also because I get paid bi-weekly, so there's 26 paydays. I'm, on, I'm not counting my overload, Pay. I'm just counting my base salary. So this is getting this week. I am doing ten dollars. So I filled in the the quantities myself. I'm not doing this neatly. I don't care. And then the total will end up being one thousand. $110 and I put for vacation spending so this is going in 
the 26th week, so we're doing $10. So we'll do two fives, and that'll bring that to $10. And that is that one. The next one I'm doing, this is by Mori Temi Savings. And these are 12 months. So there's one for each month, but I'm starting off, of course, excuse me, with the moving of the tripod, with uh, January. And each snowman is worth $20. So we're just gonna color. We're just gonna color in his hat. I'm not doing all this coloring. I'll do the buttons. <clears throat> so we are stuffing that into, I created an envelope that said 12 months. Where is it? Where is it? No. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going crazy. Because I know I created an envelope. And I put these all in order. So where is it? Mm -hmm. 26 week travel. All right, well, I didn't create an envelope, but it doesn't matter because I've decided um, that all of the money that I save for these monthly challenges by more tiny savings are going to go to my son. He's turning 18 this year and he's going to need a vehicle. So I'm going to put all of the money from all 12 months challenges. His birthday's in October, so I'm going to try to complete some ahead of time just so that I can be done by October. And that will go for him so this is getting a $20 bill and don't mind the back I, just, I should make him a nice envelope but his name is Jaden and I just put the J over it so if I can open the envelope there we go so he gets his first $20 alright and next we have uh, the alien challenge. So that is the out of this world challenge by uh, Lisa of Lisa Grateful Me. And on Etsy, they are the Happy Mail Co. And it comes with its own envelope. I just love it. So it's for this one, because I do want to complete this ASLP. I am going to be stuffing $34. We're doing 34. I want to finish this. That's right. So we're doing 34. So let's do, I guess, we'll do 10. Actually, we're going to put this extra, the rollover dollar in here too. So it'll be 35. So what we'll do is, so we have, we'll do, so 20, we'll do five. I just wanna see more colored in, so five, that's 15. And then we'll do a three and a two. So that's 20. And then we need, so 10, 15, 20, 25, and then we'll do 30. I just want to see more. <laughs> I know I could just color the simple, the, the shortest amounts, right? But I want to see more colored and, and less. Just gives you a sense of I'm getting there. All right, so we're going to do 35. Another three and another two. All 
All right, so 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And that is what we are stuffing with 20, 25, 30, 35. We'll put these singles. I have to stuff one more up. So that 20, 25, 30, 35, which brings us, yep, we're going to count it. We'll fill the loop. Oh, and actually, I can get some singles for Scarlett. I think I'll do that. So 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 44, 142, 43, 44. $44. So I'm actually going to take some singles. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't have nine. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to take some fives and swap it for five. So we should still have 44. I just like having singles for Scarlet. So let's see. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. All right. So slowly but surely, we are inching forward. And by the time this challenge is over, I should have $330. All right. Now, this goes back to Scarlet. And these last $5 go to giving, which I don't know why I just don't stuff it in my wallet. Like, what, is, what good is it doing? So these $5 are going into giving, and I'll put it in my wallet. So one, two, three, four, five. Now you're probably like, well, what you got there? What you got there? Well, I need to stuff some stuff that is staying digitally, but just so I can, you know, keep it, keep it tracking in the bank and all that. All right. So first of all, I need to update. Where are my? Oh, I switched. I switched them stuff. So gifts, I have a birthday coming up. So my it's my sister's birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff fifty dollars. So what I did, I just took this prop one hundred dollar bill, put some fifty on it, so that I know I have fifty dollars, but it's staying in the bank because obviously I need to spend it and send it. <laughs> so fifty dollars there. Now, I did, I don't have like, I don't have small prop money. So the $38 that I am automatically transferring into my savings based on the, the raise, I created these, so I just put, I just put these amounts on it. So it's 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, and 38. It's 38, 78, but we're just going to. We're just going to round up to 38, round down. So I'm going to put that in my savings binder. And I put it towards savings. And that'll bring our savings. I did spend some savings in December. Uh, so that'll bring us to 1100 and $38. So there we go. And that is how much I have in my savings account. $1138 in savings. And I like I can't, I'm like, why didn't I think of that? That was such a great idea of just automatically saving my raise. Because act like I didn't have it. Because I didn't have it. I didn't have it before. Alright, so I want to make sure we did everything. Yes, we stuffed everything. We did everything. We did all the challenges. Let me get you an Oracle cord. I'm using Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron, Baron Reed. And 
I trimmed and edged this deck and colored it nice and red. Uh, so let me get you a card. Mm -hmm. We have co-create. All right, so this is a card of collaboration. This is a card of mediation. This is card of 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 cooperation, right? This you you have it in you right now to to work with someone, whether um, it is working with a mentor, working with a partner, working with a colleague. Um, into making something good. Since I'm going to apply this to the budgeting community, um, we are a collaborative here, right? So it could be working with someone, you know, another channel. Uh, it could be, again, budgeting. It could be working with your partner on creating something that works for both of you. Uh, <laughs> if, if you are in a relationship, I'm pretty sure you disagree about money. <laughs> That's the number one the number one cause of divorce, isn't it? Um, you might have different styles, different budgeting, uh, different relationships to money because a lot of a lot of us come from places where we did not discuss money, and even in within marriages, it's still taboo to discuss money. But how can you co-create a life that that is the best for both of you? Uh, or for all of you, right? Because if you have children, uh, if you can't even talk about it, so this is this is a call. This is your message for you to come up with a a plan for you to communicate, uh, <laughs> communicate. <laughs> I'm an English professor. Yes, I'm gonna have really corny puns, <laughs> but you're you're going to talk about. You have to talk about what what that best life looks like for you. What, what does the next year look like? We're just starting, right? You need to talk about it, write it down, you know, share it with each other so that, that you can manifest something, something great. And obviously just avoid, just avoid discussions and arguments about it, right? Because if you don't talk about money, if you don't talk about what you want to do with your money, um, even if you keep separate finances, <laughs> uh, it, I'm sure you have mutual goals in a relationship, right? So just kind of look at how you can open the lines of communication and how you can bring both visions together into an amalgam of what both of you need. Um, and speaking of visions, if you haven't seen, yes, a shameless plug, if you haven't seen my video of me creating my vision board for 2022, go check that out. All right. So that maybe that can help give you some insight on how you and your, you know, your partners, your colleagues, your coworkers, however, whatever, whoever you're working with, right, can build a, 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 a better vision. All right. So that is your message for this week. I will see you in my next cash stuffing. And yeah, this is Courageous. Peace.